but Sri Lanka do get us going and straight away Madura tries to get on the ball and gets things moving again Katika the same she was the go-to girl against Singapore she really did look to control and dictate play going through the middle of the park Hong Kong still come in the first shot wow that came out of absolutely nowhere no one expected that but it's found the back of the net Tiffany Chan will be credited with the goal there's the quality of the drag flick now it's not bad it's a good stop the angle changed and moved and it's a good finish and it's a second goal as well for Tiffany Chan very intelligent play from Hong Kong. They all rush to close down Loi Ka, who just changed the angle to Tiffany Chan. They do here. It's a good drag flick. Tiffany Chan, good save in the end of Andy, got there early. No mistake in that though, the power again from Loi Ka. More than enough for the Sri Lankans to deal with. Miscontrol there from Melissa Law. As it is, Evelyn Chung picks up the ball, fires it into the danger zone, and a simple tap in from Phoebe Mack means that it is going to be 4 0. Better from Sri Lanka right at the end as well. Budika skips past the challenges, drives into the D, fires it in the middle, and a simple tap in for Niana. Well, if only they could have done that earlier. It'll disappoint Hong Kong that they've conceded. But they have been a little bit more clinical in the D. And with their short corners, that has been the difference between the two sides. Because Sri Lanka, they haven't just come to make up the numbers here. They've come to have a go. And that's exactly what they did. However, the quality in that final quarter is what has let them down. And that is the difference between the two sides, which is why it's Hong Kong that beat Sri Lanka by four goals to one.